Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter, and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care, coming right here from Raleigh. In this episode, I would like to explain posterior vitreous detachment, which is very common. It happens to most people. And when it does, they could notice a new floater in one of their eyes or bright flashes of light in their side vision. This occurs when the vitreous gel inside the eye pulls away from the back of the eye. So to get an idea about this, let's take a look at the eye model. Remember the cornea covers the front of the eye. Behind that sits the iris or the colored part of the eye. Uh, next is the lens, which helps focus the light back into the eye onto the retina, which is like the camera film or the light sensor that takes the picture and sends that information back to the brain. This back part of the eye is filled up with a gel that is called the vitreous gel. When we are born, this gel completely fills the entire part of the back of the eye, and it is more stiff and firm. As time goes by, this gel weakens and becomes a little bit more fluid and also shrinks down a little bit. When it shrinks down, part of it can pull away from the retina at the back part of the eye and then float more freely in the back part of the eye. When this happens, there could be a small fold or a small area that's darker than the rest of the clear gel that moves around in the eye that can be seen as what we call a floater. Many of my patients have seen these before, but if there are new ones or bigger ones than had been before, it could be the sign of a vitreous detachment. This usually happens around the age of 57 on average, but some people could be later, and some people that are very nearsighted could be quite a bit younger. Uh, oftentimes we see it also after someone has cataract surgery, which could bring it on a little bit more quickly, we think. The primary reason that we are concerned about vitreous detachment and these new flashes and floaters is that it could indicate there is a problem with the retina. While the vitreous detachment is normal, it is not normal for the vitreous to pull or tear the retina which could cause a break in the retina. That could lead to retinal detachment and is a serious problem that would need to be treated immediately. Therefore, whenever someone notices this, we always ask them to come in, dilate their eyes, and take a good look all the way around the retina to make sure it looks healthy. If it does, then we would like to take a look again one month after that to make sure that everything still is good because there can be a change over that first month. The three main warning signs to remember are floaters or new floaters that you haven't seen before or a lot of floaters like a shower of pepper coming into your vision. Uh, the second one would be bright flashes like electricity or flash bulbs probably in the side vision that are more than just an instant and not going away. The third sign could be a curtain covering over the visual field. If you notice any of these, it could be a retina problem and we should see you or you should see your eye doctor right away. If you have floaters or new floaters or flashes of light, you could have a posterior vitreous detachment. If you have any questions about this, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you. So until next time on A State of Sight, good health and good sight.